What's going on? It's your boy Bowie here. And uh, the topic of today's video is the return of Cyrax. So in the Homelander patch that dropped on uh, June 4th, if I'm not mistaken, 2024, NRS decided to make this patch be as, you know, unremarkable as possible, change as very little about the game as possible. But hidden within that patch was actually a major change to a cameo, Cyrax. Cyrax is officially back on the board now. Cyrax is a playable cameo once again. Now, I'm not trying to be tongue-in-cheek here. Um, so when the game first dropped, Horizontal Copter was half a bar just like it is now. After um, NRS's first big tournament event, the offline tournament event, and I forget the name of it now, but um, this move was nerfed in several ways. Um, chip was reduced, um, damage was reduced, but most importantly, this move cost an entire bar of cameo from half a bar. And the reason for that is very straightforward because, um, let me see, what was it under? Yeah, it stands hold. So characters like Scorpion would do things like this. They keep themselves safe. So normally, this moves death on block, minus 24. But, as you saw, Scorpion can make himself minus one and push himself back to neutral with that. And uh, it wasn't just Scorpion that did this. Raiden used it, Baraka, Rain, all kinds of characters that had moves that were unsafe use the Cyrax Copter to keep themselves safe. Now back in the day, I don't remember if it used to be plus on block. And the reason why I don't remember is because I never even used it. But now it's not plus on block, it pushes back, back to neutral. Now, by the way, this moves a special high. Notice there's no way to get hit by it if you're ducking, even if you're duck blocking. However, if you do a move that's already um, being crouch blocked and then you call out the Cyrax, then it, uh, you know, then the opponent can block it. So, what are my thoughts about the return of Cyrax? I'm glad he's back. Hell yeah, I endorse it. I don't give a damn if it was a bug, which, newsflash people, it's not a fucking bug. And I'll tell you why it's not a bug, because we thought this was a bug on behalf of NRS because of the existence of this, hold on, because of the existence of this move. You know what I'm saying? We thought that was a bug. Hell, we thought this was a bug. It wasn't. That's not a bug. You know what I mean? NRS gave us this and uh, I forgot what patch that was. That was so long ago. Um, and a lot of people were saying that that was a bug. And uh, either this is the longest lasting bug in NRS history. I'm just kidding. Either this is a long lasting ass bug or it was intentional. And I think NRS came to their senses 
and realize that Cyrax didn't need to be nerfed in the way that he was. See, Cyrax was considered to be the very best cameo in the game because of this. Because this gave a combo on hit, it made things safe on block, and it used to give you pressure. And I don't, I'm not sure if uh, the frames have changed on it. Maybe they have. And the reason why I don't know is, like I said, I don't, I didn't play Cyrax. I never played Cyrax as a cameo. I'm still not going to. But this is good because. Look at the chip damage you can you can get from that situation right there. That's a lot of chip. And if the opponent doesn't know how to flawless block, that's damn near 10% of your life bar. So if your opponent's at that 5%, you know, threshold, you can do that and win the round. You know what I'm saying? And this gives extra utility to strings for Scorpion such as this. Speaking of Scorpion, now that Cyrax is back, Scorpion's going to be instantly much more viable now. You know? Because here's the thing about it. When you nerf a cameo in a game like this, nerfing a cameo is a nerf to several characters at once. Nerfing a cameo, to nerf a cameo is to nerf multiple characters at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if that even worked. I just did it. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, so when you nerf a cameo you're nerfing all the characters that were reliant on that cameo for damage or setup or just general viability you know what I'm saying and the whole point of a cameo game is to use cameos I discussed this in my last video where I talked about um, Shao Kahn's meterless damage and how the game is designed for you to use a cameo. By the way, just as a quick aside, Shao Kahn actually does get <laughs> very high meterless cameo -less damage. Let me show you all that right now. Yeah, so I'm back. Shao Kahn gets pretty high meterless cameo -less damage. Let's try that with the buff. <laughs> He's not struggling for damage. I just had to be petty real quick. Because I hate when people make false fucking statements and shit. Statements that can be easily refuted or verified and stuff like that. And they just run with a narrative. It's ridiculous. But speaking of narratives, people were running with the narrative that this nerf the you know the killing of cyrax in the first patch was somehow good for the game no it wasn't good for the game because now notice i'm using sub zero and i can use horizontal copter to let sub zero combo into ice ball hold on sorry it's so weird to use it. Look at that. I can get meterless combos with damn Cyrax into Ice Ball. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing but good for the game. Now, there are people that are like, well, the Cyrax meta is is bad for the game. Listen, I feel you. I really do. 
but we already have characters that let uh I, I wanted to see if that was a thing okay that's not a thing the hell oh it stands hold let me let me block that high hold on Yeah, we already have cameos that make stuff like that safe. Serena makes this normal safe anyway. Camellia makes that normal safe. A billion cameos, well not a billion. There's a whole bunch of cameos that make unsafe things safe. So Cyrax being another one is, is neither here nor there. Now I understand people uh, being hesitant about a cameo that does so much one move from a cameo that does all the things that this does I really feel you on that but the solution is not to kill this move the solution is to remove utility from it if this move becomes so problematic that now every player stops using Chameleon, stops using Janet, stops using Movado and all the other good cameos and starts going to this now, then NRS can just nerf some of the properties of Cyrax without killing him into the ground. Because the problem is, this is a cameo game. When you decide, oh, we're going to make it make a cameo less viable we're gonna take a move that usually would have been half a bar and make it a full bar now what you're deciding to do is you're ensuring that people don't use that cameo or they don't use that move think Sector and Darius both of them have moves that cost a, a full bar of cameo and you don't see those cameos, barely. You don't see them. Sector has a homing missile. You don't see the homing missile. If people even pick Sector at all, you just see the regular missile that's half a bar. Because it's more readily available. Um, Darius. Darius, you see the overhead kick that happens from a knockdown. You don't see his full bar ambush attack. Why? Because it's too fucking expensive. When cameos have moves that are too expensive, those moves don't get used. Unless they have a good charge rate. Now, Movado seems to be the exception because his mind trap costs an entire bar. But the recharge rate is so good on it that it comes back almost instantly. Let me, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, so we're back. He throws this out. Notice it's recharging immediately. And as you do the combo, most of this is going to be back. And now you have enough to do another combo. So this is like the lone example of a full bar cameo move that not only deserves to be a full bar but also has a really decent recharge rate you know what I'm saying because you would do combos like this oh whoops hold on sorry See, by the time that combo is over with, we have half a bar left. And then by the time I do another throw, I can now do that combo again. You see what I'm saying? So because of the nature of that move, and you're using it very early in the combo, and the good recharge rate, you can use that same move again. Being able to use a cameo in a cameo game uh, makes a whole lot of sense. 
and not being able to use a cameo in a game in a cameo game this is an assist fighter removing assist from the board is not a good idea because all that does is it makes the game stale because before this patch people were complaining about chameleon 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 she's the only cameo people ever use right but what has been the approach from NRS anytime a, a, a cameo gets too popular they nerf them the first victim was Cyrax the next victim was Stryker the victim after that was Kung Lao now people are looking for chameleon right and and the problem with this 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 uh process is that it never ends because if NRS decides oh we're going to nerf chameleon into the ground the same way we did Cyrax people aren't going to be satiated with that they're going to be looking for okay who's next who's the next most strongest cameo in the game let's nerf that to the ground too you know and here's what's the funniest shit about this is that People are never in favor of nerfing their cameos or their characters. They're unprincipled. They want to nerf everybody else's shit and then keep their shit as strong and stupid as possible instead of being fair and principled. You know what I'm saying? Like, this video is a pro Cyrax video, even though I don't even use no goddamn Cyrax. I have no intention of picking up the Cyrax cameo and using him with any of my mains. I don't need to chip people out to death. But it's good to know that if I ever wanted to pick up Cyrax, now he's worth picking up. Because his main move has been reverted to a previous state. Now... Does that mean that the move should never be adjusted in any way? Of course not. If the move turns out to be stupid, like Raid and Storm Cell, then you change some of the properties so that it's not as stupid. You change the properties. You don't sit there and make this a whole bar so that no one uses it ever. Unless it's going to have a, a fantastic recharge rate like Movado. What you can do is make it to where if someone does something unsafe on block, even if they block it, maybe Cyrax Copter always remains a special high, no matter what. That one change would stop a lot of the stuff, even though people would still be able to get meterless conversions with them. You know what I'm saying? They could do that. Or maybe they could stop you from getting meterless conversions and let this be a move that strictly works on block. That'd be a much tougher nerf, but that'd be something worth considering if the Cyrax meta winds up becoming too prevalent. But the point of the matter is this. When it comes down to these cameos, the cameos should be compelling. All of them. Now people have a reason to pick up Cyrax again. That is a W for the game. That's a W. Why? Because now instead of just seeing Chameleon and just seeing Janet and just seeing maybe Serena or Movado or Sub-Zero every now and again, now Cyrax is in the mix. You know? NRS needs to take that approach with all the cameos. Stop handcuffing them. You know what I'm saying? Let these moves rock. Now, you got to be careful with that. You always got to be careful because you don't want you don't want to make the game stupid. I'm never going to be ad an advocate for giving characters moves that have no counterplay. And the Cyrax meta had counterplay. You could flawless block. If you flawless blocked Cyrax, there's no chip done at all. So instead of taking the 10% chip, you don't take no goddamn chip. 
So there's your there's your your uh, counterplay. Not to mention, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a while before the bar recharges again. You see, now it's starting to recharge. Where's my mouse? Hold on a second. So look at my arrow right here. So I'm gonna use it again. Hold on, let me start from the beginning. So if I use the Cyrax thing, whoops, wrong one. Look at how long it starts to recharge for. After about three seconds, three to four seconds, then it starts to recharge again. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, I mean, you, you have access to it when you need it, but it's not like you're gonna see this move as frequently as you saw, you know, some of Chameleon's moves. You know, Cyrax players are still gonna have to be strategic about when they use this and when they don't. Because then if you use it twice, look at this shit. Look at this recharge rate. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Now you're without. You can't do a goddamn thing until right about now. Now you can use it again. But look at the delay. You see what I'm saying? Like, so if we wind up having cameos that are a little too strong, we can change some properties or we can advocate for NRS to change a couple of properties that way they're still strong but not stupid and that's that's the principle upon which I stand when it comes down to this game I want characters and cameos that are strong but not dumb I want characters to be very powerful I want them to be effective I also want them to have counterplay That way, when somebody invariably whines about them, somebody like me can come and say, well, listen, all you got to do is this. This is how you counterplay that. Like Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero strong. Or at least stronger than people think. But everything he does is counterplay. That shit's slow. You can block it and punish. This is a good mid, but it's slow. You know what I'm saying? Also, it doesn't lead to much. You know, after he does this, it's not his turn. This is a great string, but it has gaps. Good string has gaps. This is a nice, safe string that doesn't have gaps, but you need a cameo, particular cameos to combo from it. You see what I'm saying? Like, this move, real strong, doesn't go full screen. You know? This move's great, but it's slow. Plus negative a billion on block. Fantastic move. Doesn't last that long. Great dive kick. Can be up blocked. Or can be straight up unsafe. At certain distances and heights. But if you do it low. Then it becomes safe. But you see what I'm saying? Like everything about Sub-Zero. Has some kind of counterplay to it. This is obviously great. But it's death on block. You know what I'm saying? But. But that's what's good about Sub-Zero. Like, everything he does has obvious counterplay. But it's still strong and effective. You see what I'm saying? Because the fact that this is unsafe does not stop me from stepping back and popping a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't stop me at all. It doesn't stop me at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I still use it. Now, cameos can make it safe, thereby removing some of the counterplay, but there's still counterplay even with my options afterwards, because if I cancel this in the Serena, people can full combo me if, I, if they're someone like Sonya, or they can take their turn back. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if cameo moves and characters are designed with counterplay in mind, then you don't have to nerf shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I oppose the Movado nerf. This is why I, I oppose the Johnny Cage nerf. This is why I haven't been a proponent of most of the nerfs in this game because a lot of these characters 
and strategies and moves and normals and all such things as that. They already had counterplay. Hey, babe, I'm doing a video right now. She can't hear shit. But I know you're recording a video. Oh, okay, okay, I can okay. Dance, can't I? No, nah, you can. But I was just talk, making some talking my shit over here. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Good, good. So, uh, <laughs> characters have counterplay, and as long as they have counterplay, the need for nerfs is slim to nil. So it's good that Cyrax is back. It's good that Cyrax is back. He already had counterplay. He did a lot. Too much, for sure. But the solution is not to nerf the, the move into the ground and thereby remove the character from the select screen. The solution is to give him more counterplay. And that's not just true for him. That's true for any cameo in the game. And it's not just true for cameos, it's true for every character in the game. So, I'm happy that NRS seems to have realized the error of their ways. If they can bring Cyrax back, I'm hoping that they bring Sub-Zero back. Because this shit here, being 39 frames, don't make no sense. I should be able to do this. And it's primed for it to happen too because this is plus 34 on hit. This move should be 30 frames. And honestly, I wouldn't be mad if it were to. Well, you know what? Let this be 30 frames. Let this be 20. You know what I'm saying? That's how you buff sub. They can do some stuff with this too. But I think the only real buff Sub Zero really needs is this. Because that ice ball is useless right now. That move has too much counterplay because virtually no one gets hit by this. They they don't get hit by it because it's too fucking slow. And that could be okay if you would do if you had the ability to do this. Like all these strings should cancel into ice ball and they don't. And so if NRS can bring back Cyrax, I'm hoping they can bring Sub-Zero that particular buff. And if they buff him in that particular way, you ain't got to do shit else to him. Because he got plenty of counterplay already. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... I'm sorry if this was sort of like an unorganized rant, as most of my videos are. But I just wanted to make my thoughts known on the state of Cyrax being back in the game. It's good for the game. We need this for more characters. Even for characters that weren't nerfed. Because Sector was never nerfed. But if they made some, if NRS made some changes to him, such as making his homing missile half a bar, that would bring him into the game. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Darius. Same thing with Goro, because that stomp is damn near useless. You know what I'm saying? Like. They need to do to uh, with other cameos what they did with Cyrax. Cyrax is back. It's a good thing. I'm happy about it. And I don't even play him. But I'm still happy about it. And if you're not happy about it, you, you might need to you might need to, to, to check yourself. You probably are, are are a nerf god, you know what I'm saying? And uh we ain't got time for that shit. You wanna you want a game full of nerf characters, go play MK eleven. Straight up. Just play MK11. That game's got nerfs everywhere. Except for the characters that actually matter, like Fujin and... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. But yeah. With that being said, you guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below. I'll catch y'all later. One.